Welcome to Keep It G Podcast. I'm your host, Ken Lee, and I want you to hit that like and subscribe button for me. Welcome to 2023. I'm re- sitting here reminiscing, and I want to come talk to y'all about my favorite uncle. You know, he passed away at the age of 33 years old, and that was my mama's baby brother. His name was Alexander Scott Sproul, AKA Head is what they called him in the hood. Yeah, uh, he was a good uncle, you know. He was, he was young when he passed away, like I say. And he was fascinating and stuff, you know. And uh, I used to talk to some of the guys that knew him. And they used to tell me stories about how he used to grab a book sack fill it with books and go up on Southern campus and act like he was in the Southern University school, you know, and and meet girls and bring them back to the neighborhood and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? He was like a playboy. He was a good dude with with women and took care of women. He had a trade where he did carpenter work when he worked with a dude named Billy that he, he did for years, you know what I'm saying? Work with Billy and all of that, you know. Uh, I can tell you a story. When I was young, when uh, it was a Southern homecoming, and my uncle Alexander had just got off work, and my mama was waiting on him to quit off work, I guess to give him some money, so she was asking him for some money, and he was like, Joyce, I ain't got to give you my money, I ain't got no money. This and that. So, he was ironing his pads. Some shorts he had on, getting ready to iron them. But I was a little boy, and so she said, Kenny. Well, he went in the back room. She said, Kenny, go put that iron down on Alexander Payne's, on his shorts. So I go run, little boy, Put the iron down on Alexander Pants. Burnt a big old iron spot in the man pants. I guess my mama thought that was going to stop him from going to Southern Homecoming game and, and spending his money on whatever. Swear, man. That dude took them shorts and put them shorts on with the big iron spot on them and wore them shorts out of there to that Southern game. You know, and I was just sitting back thinking about that, you know what I'm saying, the stuff I did with my uncle. And then, I ain't going to tell you no lie, man. He popped the hell out of me, too, boy. Oh, I really don't, don't pop my baby. This and that and all that. So, you know, he was my favorite uncle. He used to come pick me up, ride me around. And then one day my mama was like, Alexander, why you always coming to pick Kendrick up and riding Kendrick around and... This and that and all this and that. He he went up and uh, turned around and came back in the house and said, Joe, what you want the boy to be hanging with preachers and shit? We ain't doing nothing but just riding around. You know, and you know, he was that kind of uncle that just took up for you. You know, I always told you about getting a trade, you know what I'm saying? Having a trade in this world, finding you something you could do to make a living. You know what I'm saying? And, I love him, I miss him for that, you know. And uh, I remember this one girlfriend he had, him and her had got into a little altercation and one night he, him and her was fighting in the streets over in Ghost Town, on Ritterman Avenue. And they was fighting and whatever, whatever. And she tried to get in her car and run off and messed around there and ran over my uncle. Broke his leg, man. And I was, I was a teenager at this time and I was just remember literally holding his foot in my hand while he hopped back into the yard to go into the house after she broke him and seeing his ankle twisted and all that. You know, it was, it was, it was crazy, man. I just seen him do a lot, been through a lot, been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? I see him when he got married, you know what I'm saying? Met his wife, you know? You know what I'm saying? I just seen my uncle do a lot to be, you know what I'm saying? A young dude 
know, passed away at, at uh, the age of 33. And uh, y'all might know his son. His son named Fat Duty out of Zion City. Uh, they got the song, Please Get Off My... You know what I'm saying? That's my uncle's son who I'm talking about, you know. And I just want to say, all right, Peter, my uncle, man, I miss you, bro. You're my favorite uncle. And I miss you, man. All right, Peter.